guys, welcome to today's episode of Rusty Duck Garage. Hey, we just picked up this old 1986 GMC pickup here. Uh, it was advertised as a 1987, uh, but as soon as I popped the hood, I saw that it did not have fuel injection, it had a carburetor, so I knew it was not an 87. Uh, got to look at the title, sure enough, it's an 86. Now, why would you say, why would I buy such a beat up old truck? Well, this truck's rust free. I'm gonna make a short bed out of it, so that bed doesn't matter. I've already got a replacement bed that we're gonna bolt onto it. As you can see, the old truck's had somewhat of a rough life. I don't know if it was used on a farm or not, but he said he brought it up from Arizona. That's why there's no rust. There's the whole got truck. a few whiskey bumps over here, but no big deal. We'll take care of that. But we're fixing to go through the uh, car wash over here, and it's one of those truck acid car washes. Let's see what kind of difference it makes. Here at the truck wash, they use an acid wash, cost about 35 bucks uh, to do this, but he's, he's doing the engine too and everything, so it should be nice. All right, we got the truck washed and boy, it came out a lot better. Uh, drove it home, everything seemed to work great on it. Uh, the acid wash really brightened things up, cleaned up a lot of things I would have to scrub for a very long time on it, where the acid just eats in and cleans things very well. Uh, very ha happy with the outcome of the truck. I think it, uh, Looks so much better there. You can see the dent in the door. Uh, we're looking for a replacement door, hope like an off an old Suburban or something like that. Hopefully the same colors. Uh, a lot of doors out there available for these things. But you can see the cab uh, really has no damage. So um, it's very, very simple just to bolt on a couple of new doors and we'll be good to go. I should have taken a before picture on this engine before we cleaned it, uh, the engine compartment. Uh, it was really, really dirty. Um, the uh, acid wash cleaning it there at the truck wash really did a nice job on it and he only charged me 10 bucks 25 bucks to do the truck and 10 bucks extra for doing the engine money well spent yeah the engine in the truck uh, runs really good it's a good good wrench uh, 350 engine that somebody installed in there no telling how long ago but like I say it, it runs very well very very surprised yeah it gets right down the road just fine no issues um, as far as training engine brakes steering all drives all right you see the truck's got 15 8 rally wheels on it with gmc center cap because it is gmc uh tires are 31 10 50 15 and and uh, they're just basically like new i'm gonna be swapping those out I'm gonna put a set of 275 60 15s on the rear and probably a 225 70 15 on the front of it okay plans for the truck involve a 4.6 drop kit. What we're going to do is a two inch drop spindle in the front and then we'll cut two inches out of the coils which is about a coil and a half and then we'll do a six inch flip kit for the rear of it. This will bring it down uh, pretty level like our 79 C10. Then we're going to pull the bed off of it and shorten the frame uh, 14 inches in front, six in the back and I have a short bed uh, box already uh, purchased that I'll be installing on this truck. Then we'll put the uh, custom rear bumper on the rear of it, possibly paint the box to match the truck, uh, and then go from there. All right, guys, here's the uh, short bed that uh, we got got the bed off of over here. This one here has been wrecked, and you can see we got the short bed loaded up. I got a trailer, but my trailer's uh, over uh, about three hours away, so uh, there's we, uh, we found a way to make this work. So, and that was with this John Deere tractor and that loader there. So that made things a lot easier. But this is a pretty nice short box, uh, real good condition here that we'll be putting on a future project there for you. And I was telling you about, he's got a, a short bed here. Here's a uh, 78 Chevrolet Silverado factory short bed. Pretty cool truck. Uh, got the custom rear bumper on it. It's pretty close to being a turnkey truck, but not quite yet. Just needs a couple of exhaust manifolds and a few things hooked up. But overall, really nice truck. Hard to find them like that anymore. All right, we stopped to tighten up her straps here. Make sure she's not going to fall out or fall over. Okay, this is the short bed that we're going to install on the 1986 C10. 
And you can see here the uh, Cooper Cobra radials that are on this truck. It's the same size uh, wheel and tire that we're going to put on the uh, 86. Uh, actually, the wheels uh, that are already on are the ones we'll be using. Not sure I mentioned it or not, but the truck has factory air conditioning, power windows, power door locks, cruise control, etc. So it'll actually make a pretty nice uh, truck when we get done with it there. We'll probably add bumper guards to the front bumper too there. And again, the uh, custom rear bumper. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Rusty Duck Garage. And stay tuned because we will update this truck as we make progress. Thanks again. And please hit that like button, subscribe button. And we'll catch you next time at Rusty Duck Garage.